Once again, we are so glad you're back with us for Spotlight on the Community on 95.5 KLOS, Southern California's Best Rock. I'm Cynthia Fox. We heard a little bit of piss and lick it up. And you know, his and Molly Crew are part of the KLOS Company Picnic that's coming up August 14th. You know it, 955KLOS.com. All the details are there. But in the meantime, look what's coming up very, very soon. April 10th at the Roxy. It is Gene Simmons, and he's doing a benefit concert for a great cause. It's called Rock for vets and it benefits a great music therapy program for veterans that's at the Long Beach VA so we want you to get to hip to this so you do your pounce on these tickets you can find out more at the roxyonsunset.com you can also buy tickets at the rockclub.net that is the rockclub.net and we've got Frank Michaelham back here on Spotlight in the Community to talk about uh, this great program. And Frank, you know, thank you and welcome back to Spotlight in the Community. Cynthia, thank you so much for having me. Oh, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm very nervous, but you, I want to thank you and Kayla oh, West for even having us. Well, no, I, what you're doing and what you have set up uh, at the Long Beach VA, this terrific music therapy program, and that's why Gene Simmons is doing the benefit, right? Exactly. We have we created the first ever music rehab program within the VA system uh, in a band setting environment, and we've have pe- we've had we currently have people over there's over 35 people that are involved with our program. A lot of them never played an instrument instrument before. Now they're singing in a choir or they're playing guitar, bass guitar, drums, and we're creating monsters out of all these veterans. And it's just so great to watch them grow and come out of their shell and actually converse with people, talk to people, increase their self-confidence and their self-worth, yeah. but actually being part of a team again. And to to be a nucleus to make that happen is a fantastic achievement for, for us. And I feel very lucky to be part of this uh, part of this program. Oh, Frank. I mean, I think you're amazing that you've done this. Now, are you going to have some of these veterans play with Gene Simmons then? We, that's, that, that should be a nice special treat. Uh, Gene wants us to learn one of their KISS songs, and maybe Gene will come out and help coach the, coach the vets, but also rock and roll with them on stage as well. So oh, it'll be wonderful. fantastic I, experience. I, I can't believe it that our guys are going to be, are going to be jamming with Mr. Simmons. Oh, it's very I cool. love it. So again, it's Gene Simmons live at the Roxy. You've got to support this event, Rock for Vets. It's happening April 10th. Again, you can get tickets the roxyonsunset.com. And you also have a way that people can send a veteran. Now, how does that work? That's right. If, if you feel that you can't come or attend the show yourself, you can always send a veteran in, in your place. And you can go to the rockclub.net, look at the Roxy, look right below the Roxy logo, and you can say you want to send one veteran, two vets, ten vets, twenty vets. But it gives them an opportunity to come and see a show which they would never have the opportunity to play or to come come and see and uh it it makes it so if you can't come please send a veteran in your place instead oh i think it's a great idea you, you've Thank really you. thought very thoughtful again it is uh www.therockclub.net uh, the show is april 10th it's 7 p.m 35 dollars 35 bucks if, and, and it's what a, it's a great show it'll be a two-hour show i believe but not only Gene Simmons is going to be there, which he, I want to thank him and his family for helping support this program. We have people like Bobby Kimball from, from the original lead singer of Toto is going to come out and help out. We have um, Danny Serafin, who is a founding member of Chicago, going to come out and do a few tunes. We may have John Avila, one of the past members of Oingo Boingo, coming out and helping. Uh, and we have people like Rick Latham that always supports, and Ronnie Siago, Union of Saints are going to be there. Uh, people like Don Ty and Bob Luna. These are people that are in the in the music industry, which they always lend a hand and say, "Frank, what can I do to to help and support?" And I'm saying we're doing a bit of a show. Can you help out? And they always they're always there for us. And I'm so glad you're doing this because so many times people want to help but don't know exactly how to channel that that feeling of compassion. Exactly. And this is perfect because it's the gift of music. It is uh, with Gene Simmons. Uh, playing with these great veterans who've had the opportunity 
to uh, have access to this wonderful music therapy program you through know, the Long Beach VA. Hey, man, that's right. I think that's an awesome achievement right there because we all know there's a certain amount of red tape that goes with setting anything up, right? Yeah. <laughs> and the fact that you got that done, that's a lot of fortitude right there. It, it's, so. a, it's a huge undertaking, and now we also have different VA hospitals around uh, the states that want to actually take our music rehab program as well. Uh, the next city we're looking at is in Canandaigua, New York, and uh, so we're looking for a, a performer to headline a show for us out there. I'm talking to quite a few people, but the it, the actual effect that music has on these people, these men and women uh, of of all races and all genders and 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 all ages, you know, people from Afghanistan to Iraq mm-hmm. to Vietnam veterans and beyond and all different types of illnesses because they are patients at the hospital mm. but to put a guitar in their hand instead of uh, instead of medication or instead of um, a different type of therapy which I feel is doing so much for these people and to, to watch the change is just dramatic and it's just fantastic to see Aww. them. It's see so them it's grow. it's it's such a healing experience and, it it, and I just I love that because as we talked about so many times in Spotlight, music has so many so many facets and so many ways of, of healing and reviving and giving people that, that feeling of hope again, a way to channel their creativity and their emotions. It's just fantastic. Exactly. So once again, folks, you got to do this. Gene Simmons at the Roxy, April 10th, 7 p.m., $35. Rock for Vets. Support this great program that's at the VA hospital in Long Beach. The Roxy on Sunset.com gets you info. The rockclub.net. You can send a veteran. Also, you can just go to the rockclub.net and find out more about, let's say, you want to donate money directly to the program. Any time of the year, they can do this, exactly. right? Exactly. They can donate funding. They can also donate any old musical equipment they may have, or if they want to purchase some instruments, they always can donate it. Donated to our, our music rehab program. And there's a lot of people out there which do give a lot of instruments. Some instruments are quite old and it costs too much money to actually get them uh, repaired and, and replaced. So if someone wants to say, look, I want to donate a new drum set for you or new guitars or whatever. But it's, you know, it's people in the community that always comes out and supports. And um, our sponsor is Command Music and they've provided us with the back line that we use for our. Uh, for our music therapy program and they've believed in us for t- since day one and like I said this program has been going on for around three years now with a real uh, impact of the VA in Long Beach since the middle of 2010 and there's people at the VA Long Beach that, that have really uh, focused and really wanted to help and there's people like Rex Jennings and Rich Beam, Charlie Lennon and Diane Goodpaster who always give that support and if they didn't believe in us we wouldn't be there at the moment. So it's key people like those that, that really make a difference and a, a really big shout out for them because if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't even, even been doing this project. Oh my goodness. It's, I mean, it's a total team effort, but I, I love the fact that this is an opportunity for everyone to show their gratitude to our, to our troops exactly. for um, taking on uh, some jobs that yeah, are extremely challenging. Oh my God, so difficult. Mm-hmm. And then coming back, readjusting, uh, helping them uh, make that adjustment back, and also uh, eventually at some point helping everyone find jobs too, which exactly. would be awesome. Exactly. But this is a great way to say thank you, and we appreciate it, and the nation is behind you. Thank you. Because you know, for, that's a those are, those are tough. I mean, come on, how many tours of duty have some had to do in Iraq and Afghanistan? And, you know, we, we do have members that, that hope you don't mind me talking about some of their past, but yeah. we do have members from Afghanistan that said, Frank, if I didn't have this program, I would have committed suicide already. Oh. And these are real people, and that's just one of many stories that we get. Oh. And we've actually made, it, made an impact on this one individual's life. Oh. And he's part of our program, and he loves it. And, and if you can multiply that by 35 people... And we have a waiting list of around another 30 wanting to come in and join it. Wow. But we, uh, we're limited on what we can do with our resource. Um, but it's, it's, we're actually making a difference and we're actually saving people as well. And it's real. It's real. It's not, uh, uh, it's, it's, you're actually affecting someone's life. 
and livelihood. You know, I believe it because unfortunately when you go to the headlines, you do see the, the high incidence of suicide among veterans. You do. And they've, they've seen a lot. They've been through a lot. This PTSD, I mean, that's for yeah. real. And it's really tough. It is. I mean, this is just no, you know, this is a, a, a real tough a, a real tough challenge. So I just appreciate the fact. Look at this. I mean, the gift of music that exactly. can can actually give someone that hope of continuing, and that is something. You know, like I said, it's just a, I I'm always in awe of what music can do as far as lifting people's spirits and giving them that that courage to keep going. Well, but it's people like you that really you're giving me your time right now to actually put this on air and frank it's an honor that's all i can say the fact that you've done all this it's the least we can do so uh, we do have to wrap up very quickly but it's gene simmons live at the roxy april 10th 7 p.m 35 dollars it's a rock for vets event it benefits this great program at the VA hospital in Long Beach. You get tickets at theroxyonsunset.com. You can send a veteran, uh, therockclub.net. You can find out more information there, therockclub.net. Gene's going to have some vets playing there from the program. From the program. How cool like, is that? And he from also, the program. We also, he also might bring some special friends of his as well, so you never Ooh, know. So that'll be awesome. It'd be kind of cool. It'd be very <laughs> sweet. Very, very cool. So, Frank, Michael, thank you for taking the time and making the journey all the way to a KLOS. And, again, folks, support this. Uh, the Rock Club dot net. It's just, it's just an awesome opportunity. And we're going to close with some kiss. Rock and roll all night. Thank That's the whole idea, thank right? Thank you, Cynthia. <laughs> thank you so much for taking the KLOS. Right. You've been listening to Spotlight on the Community on 95.5 KLOS. Southern California's best rock. I'm Cynthia Fox. And time to join us next time. And, once again, we'll be shining that spotlight on the community. You show us everything you need.